Hello everyone, and welcome back to another DIY Square Drop Camper Build video. This is part 14. In this episode, we'll be getting the ceiling on, the spars, some insulation, the ceiling, fa uh, ceiling fan cutout, and doing a bunch of electrical work. So lots to go over in this video. Um, this part here is uh, trimming down the, uh, the ceiling panels. They are quarter inch birch plywood. And we're just making sure that we get all the right sizes for everything. Um, it was a little tricky because you gotta get the right angles on these so that they fit together pretty well without any large gaps. So, uh, but we, we managed to get them pretty, pretty close. There was only very, very small gaps, but it'll be covered with uh, some trim on the interior eventually anyway. So here's our first dry fitting of these parts. And uh, it looks pretty good. Um, so you'll see that there is a ledge there. And that's, uh, if you've been following along with my videos, you know that we have the sandwich walls and where the outside wall is a little, stands a little taller uh, and goes down deeper um, so that it can sit on the floor and so that the walls can sit inside as well. So uh, now after the dry fit, we said, okay, everything looks good. So we start applying our PL Premium and uh, stapling the, uh, the walls to that little, little shelf there on the inside. Uh, you'll notice at the bottom left, there is a small little gap. Um, I think the floor is slightly sagged there, um, but you know, there'll be insulation and trim and then the, the actual roof will be covering that. So it's not really a big deal. Well, actually, sorry, there won't be trim there, but the bed will be there. So it's, you're not really gonna see it anyway. Um, so yeah, we're, we're getting this, the, the ceiling installed and really this is, this has been another, you know, there's been a couple points where I'm like, wow, this is really coming along. And this weekend of, of working for three days with Ryan visiting and, um, getting this ceiling on and starting on the spars, it's, it's really a, a big step forward in, oh man, this is, this is actually coming together and almost done. Um, obviously there's still at least a month's worth of work to do, probably more, uh, but just to get it to this point has been really awesome. Uh, I'm, I'm super proud and, and really happy of, for all the people that came to help out as well. Um, so there's that last piece of ceiling that we're going to do today put in and uh, getting all the squeeze out of the PL Premium and making sure it's all stapled down. Um, it's uh, It was a good feeling for sure. And sorry if you hear any little noises in the background. I've got a little puppy with me today, and she's she's squirrely. Um, okay, so now we are cutting down spars, um, and then I also made a template for running the wires through the spars, and I'm using this template uh, and applying it to each spar via flush trim router. Um, even the spars that you know won't have any wires running through them, I figure I better put that in there just in case. Um, in case I decide before I put the roof on that I need more wires ran. So um, here we are, we're using little spacers which will also become blocking to make sure that the spars are even on each side. Uh, then we apply some PL Premium to all the sides that are touching wood and then put in a pocket hole screw to really clamp it together on the outside. Um, it was a very sunny day so we decided to get some shade on us since Ryan was already pretty much burnt. Um, so you can see all these different um, all these different spars have gone in. We've got two on each joint, and uh, now we're ready to start applying some insulation. So we're getting the dimensions of that and applying the insulation. However, uh, I did forget to put the blocking for the first two rows of insulation, so we ended up having to pull this out. Uh, actually, we didn't pull it out. We just cut out the insulation from there um, and put in the blocking. So you'll see that here shortly. Uh, but yeah, Ryan is still working on some spars going up on top of the roof. And uh, I'm helping him with a couple things while Darnell and I work on the insulation as well. So it was, we, we definitely worked into the night during this night. Uh, just because, you know, Darnell was only here for a small amount of time. 
and I figured I'm gonna try and use up as much of his time as I possibly can with uh, progressing on the trailer. So, <clears throat> um, it was the next morning where I looked at it when we came outside and realized, oh, I forgot to put the blocking on those two spots. So, um, but you can also see some wires being ran here and later on in this video, you'll see where all the wires really uh, start getting ran. So as you can see here, Ryan is uh, cutting out the foam, uh, vacuuming it with a shop vac so it doesn't go everywhere, and putting in the blocking uh, so that, you know, the blocking, it just, it adds a lot of strength and it really makes sure that the spars don't move. Um, it's, to me, I think it's pretty crucial for the structure and integrity of the whole, you know, trailer. Um, I'm not upset about uh, putting them in, that's for sure. So, um, and so for, yeah, this, uh, during this morning, Ryan, after he did this, he went up and started doing the fan opening and the blocking up there, uh, while I continue to work on insulation and getting the blocking done for the rest of, uh, the, the gaps that we've already made here with the spars. Sorry about the squeaking. He's killing her toy. Um, so yeah, Darnell came by again that the next morning to help run a couple more wires so that we could continue the insulation. And you can see, as I said, I'm doing the blocking here, Ryan's on the roof, and we're clamping up the blocking, uh, gluing it up on all sides, making sure that it's there and, and not going anywhere. Uh, so this is about when it started to mist, and then it started misting a little heavier. So we had to pull it in because I didn't want anything to get soaked. And we had to work in the cramped space of this two-car garage that has a 4 by 8 workbench in it. Um, not really ideal, but definitely needed to to get to work because, you know, Ryan was only here the rest of that day, and then, at, and then he left the next morning, so I wanted his help as much as I could. Um, in this part, I'm unscrewing all the screws from the side, the pocket hole screws, and then using a router to flush trim the blocking, which was just sticking out just a little bit on both of these sides. Um, it was not a problem going forward, but for these three, for whatever reason, uh, it, it was an issue. So now I'm taping up with uh, the foil tape, insulated foil tape. Um, and then you'll see that I start putting in the uh, spray foam for this little weird gap. Um, and then continue working on the insulation. Um, Ryan was busy with the uh, top section, getting all the spars, or continuing with the spars. Um, while I was working on the insulation. So Ryan is here using the electric knife to cut that foam uh, to make it, you know, as, as level as possible. And here we are, uh, this is actually earlier in the day, uh, working on the fan uh, blocking. And we use two spars for each way to form the box. For added support for the fan, and honestly added support for that roof in general, um, there will be you know the heavy fan coming down right there. But in addition to that, there's also going to be roof racks and you know solar panels and everything. So I figure, you know, having two spars each way with a 14-inch opening is is definitely best. Um, so now we're on to the electrical. Uh, we are running wires for two interior reading lights that have USB ports, two overhead lights in the cabin a 12 volt cigarette plug in the cabin for a CPAP machine, the max air fan that's going on top, uh, and two exterior lights that will be shining and have switches for the inside. Um, the, uh, and additionally, in the galley, there will be a control panel, lights, and, and in the galley and in the hatch, and strip lighting in, in the cabinets inside and out. Um, this is the, the board where we're building uh, where all the power will live and it will sit right next to the batteries and there's a master switch right there uh, a circuit breaker switch and then there are the uh, the boards for all the electrical components to plug into uh, from the batteries so Darnell kind of laid it all out and I screwed it all in and now he's running uh, little wires to and from each little section uh, as needed um, you know, I definitely couldn't record everything that everyone was doing because we had three guys, including me, working on all this. Uh, but I did the best that I could. 
So um, here I am laying out and designing the control panel in the galley. And this will hold the solar controller with its Bluetooth device, uh, a circuit breaker for the solar panels, a battery monitor, a panel that has USB outlets, uh, USB-C, USB, uh, regular USBs, uh, a 12 volt cigarette lighter plug, a voltage meter, and then a little space for some extra devices in the future if we decide, if I, if I decide I need to add anything uh, in there. Um, but this was like Ryan's first time really using a jigsaw. Well, not first time, but first time trying to make like really, you know, fairly accurate cuts on a jigsaw. So that was fun to help him, uh, you know, learn that tool. Um, we use this board as like a template and then we used it to router out a board that didn't have lots of scratches on it and stuff like that. Um, and plus if you screw this up, it wouldn't be the end of the world. So uh, he, did, he did a really good job and we you know, used the router to flush trim this onto uh, the other board, uh, which I did not record. I think the battery had died just before we started that and I didn't notice. Um, but you know, you can see he's making a square, he's making you know, odd shapes, um, and you know, as well as a circle, which is like really hard with a jigsaw. Um, but thankfully, and, oh, and, and here's the final product of what it looks like. Uh, you know, I think it looks really good and I'm excited to use it. But here's Ryan's little video uh, for the end of this. Let's see. Shut up. Put him sure. in here. I went ahead and uh, cut the sound and made it quicker just so you guys' ears didn't bleed. <laughs> Look like a sawdust snowman. It's all over your face and your mouth. So I asked you to do it. Look at that clean though. Look, look at that clean shit right there though. Oh man. Yeah, you got, you got, you got a little guy right there. Thank you all for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time when we finish up this insulation, maybe put the roof on, maybe start the galley hatch. Who knows? Take care. <laughs>